Hi, Circuit Riders. Welcome to the Mackinac Island Ferry in Northern Michigan. We are gonna spend the day on Mackinac Island. We've never been there before, so we're excited to share some details with you. So you're visiting the Upper Peninsula and you've heard about Mackinac Island and everyone tells you, you've got to go. It's so beautiful. It's so unique. Make sure that you include it as part of your trip. Well, you may have also heard that Mackinac Island can be very expensive. There are tons of things to do here and there are no cars allowed on the island, which means you have only a few ways to get around. So in this video, in in addition to showing you the beautiful island that we're visiting today, I want to talk a little bit about how you can save money when you're visiting Mackinac Island. So first of all, there are no bridges over to the island because there are no cars allowed on the island. The only way that you can get here is by ferry and that expense is kind of set. You know, if you're gonna to come to the island, you're gonna be buying a ferry ticket. There's two main ferry lines that you can use. We used Shepler's Ferry. There's also Star Line. They're right at the same dock. We left out of St. Ignace or Ignis. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. And the ferry tickets are gonna be about $30 per person on either line. You might save a couple of bucks by booking the tickets online on the website before you come rather than buying at the ferry terminal. But if you plan on $30 per person to get over here, that's gonna be your base cost for the day. Now, once you get on the island, you've got three or four main modes of transportation that you can use to get around the island. Number one, walking. Number two, bicycles. You can bring your own bike or rent a bike. Three, take a horse carriage ride around the island, or four, rent a horse to ride yourself. Those are the main options, and only one of them is free, and that is walking. We have chosen to walk everywhere today, and to be honest, I always prefer walking to biking because I think you see more, your pace is a little bit slower, you can take your time and really enjoy the nature around you rather than whizzing by on a bike. And biking is difficult for me, I just prefer walking. So we've chosen to do that today, not only because we prefer to walk instead of bike, but because it's free and it's gonna save a lot of money on rentals. Another free thing that we have taken advantage of today is bringing our own food. Even when I go to amusement parks or any kind of day trip, I always try to pack our own lunches. It is so much cheaper and I can control what the food is. I'm not forced to buy junk food or bakery items. I can make sure I'm packing a healthy lunch and again, very low cost. So I was thinking when we were down in the main street, if you didn't want to pack your own lunch, but you don't want to spend a lot of money at the multiple lovely restaurants that there are here on the island, there is a little market downtown called Dowd's Market. It, it claims to be the oldest grocery store in the country, and it's a very cute little market, and they have tons of ready-made lunch foods in there. So that would be another very cheap option to go in there and get a salad or a sandwich and just walk around the island and eat it. Another tip for keeping costs down, make it a day trip. There are so many lovely hotels and bed and breakfasts on the island, but they are not cheap. If you can keep your trip to a day, come in in the morning, go back at dinner time or before, you're gonna save a ton of money. One of the main draws on Mackinac Island is the Grand Hotel. It is the largest summer hotel, I believe, in the world, and also has the longest front porch in the world. So it's really a beautiful tourist destination. However, you do have to pay to get inside.
All right, we've made it up to the Grand Hotel, which is the main tourist attraction here on Mackinac Island. It is a functioning summer hotel. However, you may have heard that in order to go inside the hotel, if you're not a guest, you must pay $10 per person. And this will get you access to the inside of the hotel and all the grounds. So this where I'm standing is about as close as you can get without paying. You can come up and see the, the front of the hotel, but you cannot go down onto the lawn and you can't go inside without this ticket. So this is gonna be our one expense today. Besides the ferry tickets, we are gonna pay 20 bucks to go inside the hotel because it's the main thing to see here and I'm sure it's beautiful inside. So we'll just do a little, little splurge to do that and maybe eat our lunch that we brought on the porch. Well, I was really hoping that we could eat our lunch out on the grand porch in the rocking chairs, but the mayflies are abysmal today. They are just swarming everywhere. There's nobody out there. So we're just going to have a little seat here in the lobby and eat our lunch. These flies are horrific. <laughs> it's really bad. Ugh. So when I first heard about Mackinac Island from other people and other YouTubers who have been here, I was concerned about the lack of cars because I was picturing in my head Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket. We are from the Northeast of New England and we have a lot of experience with those two islands off the coast of Cape Cod and they are very large islands. Martha's Vineyard is 87 square miles and it has several distinct towns on it. You really need a car or at least a rental car to get around Martha's Vineyard um, or you know rent a scooter or a motorcycle or something like that. So I was picturing this in my head and I thought, if I can't have a car on Mackinac, I'm going to be stuck just walking around the little town that's at the ferry dock. I'm not really going to be able to see the island. Well, if I had done my research ahead of time, I would have found out that Mackinac Island is less than four square miles total. And in addition to that, 80% of it is a state park. There's really only 20% of the island right at the ferry dock that is the city portion of Mackinac Island. And um, it is super walkable, very easy to walk. If you get off the ferry at the ferry dock, it's only a 15 minute walk up to the Grand Hotel. From there, you can do another half hour walk across the state park to Arch Rock on the east side of the island. And then the whole northern part of the island is state park. So if you're just here to see touristy things, do some shopping, see the hotel, that kind of thing, it is easily walkable within a few hours. Now we're taking most of the afternoon. We'll probably be here for, I don't know, five or six hours, just very leisurely walking around and seeing stuff. Now, if you rent a bike, you can bike the whole circuit of the island, which I think is eight miles, and it should take about two to three hours to bike it. So that is also an option. But what we're talking about here is low cost options. So if you're walking, don't be afraid that you won't be able to see everything because it is super walkable and very easy. Like I said before, there are tons of opportunities to spend money on Mackinac Island. There are museums, historical sites, the fort is here. It does cost money to get into the Grand Hotel. You could easily spend hundreds of dollars here, especially with a couple or a, a small family um, paying for everybody to go into these things. So my tip is, if it's palatable to you, is to skip the paid um, sites except for the Grand Hotel, which is what we chose to do. But we have been to so many historical sites over the years. We homeschooled our kids and, you know, we've taken them to countless 
historical villages and blacksmith shops and historical homes and forts and things like that. We just don't need to see another one um, and pay money here on Mackinac. So we have chosen to just walk around and see what we can for free. Um, and that's fine with us. We, we really wanted to come here to experience the island, to see what it was like, and to check it off of our bucket list of the Upper Peninsula, and that, that's good enough for us. So if that's your situation, and you're trying to save money, and you've already done all of these kind of things, or you're not interested in historical museums and stuff, again, the free walking and um, bringing your own food is my best tips for keeping Mackinac low cost. <laughs> We've left the Grand Hotel now. We're going to walk across the island to the other side. Uh, we won't do the northern part because that's all state park up there and uh, there's nature trails but not much else to see. So we're going to concentrate on the lower part here. I think that's much more walkable for us. And it's kind of surprising that there's no mayflies anywhere else on the island really that we've seen except for at the Grand Hotel. I don't know why they're all there but they're just covering the porch and the people and the steps and everything up there. But the rest of the island is being very pleasant to walk. We're leaving the little town part of Mackinac Island now. We're entering the state park. 80% of the island is state park, but what a lot of people don't know is that Mackinac Island used to be a national park. It was the second national park in the United States, and it only operated from 1875 to 1895. And the reason was, originally Mackinac Island was a military fort. Fort Mackinac was here in the late 1800s, and the National Park Service was not formed until 1916. So actually when this was a national park, there was no um, overarching organization to take care of the parks. So the governor of Michigan proposed that since the military people were already here, that we could make, they could make the island a national park and the military people who were here could take care of the park. They could be like the park rangers in addition to their military responsibilities. So for 20 years it operated that way. But in 1895, the fort closed down and all the soldiers left, and then there was no one to care for the park anymore. So they decided to disband the national park name, and then Michigan took it over and made it into Michigan's first state park. So now, today, it's a state park, but interesting that it used to be a national park. So from the Grand Hotel, we've walked about a half an hour across the state park to the southeastern coast of the island and uh, to beautiful ro Arch Rock. It's a great geological formation here in the park. <laughs> disconcerting to be able to walk down the middle of the road but I don't have to worry about it it's just a bike path plus the horse race comes through here oh, horse, okay. I don't know if the carriages come here so from Arch Rock way up those stairs it's about a 25 minute walk back to the ferry terminal in the town we're just gonna have a leisurely walk here see what time we get back the ferries run every half hour so you can't really go wrong as long as you don't miss the last one uh, 
You might remember when we were in Door County a few episodes ago, we talked about visiting places in the shoulder season and how we really liked how it wasn't overrun with crowds, but the weather was still tolerable and you could um, still see things even if you weren't there in the height of the season. Well, we're finding that today on Mackinac as well. Now, I read that the Mackinac season really starts at, like around May 1st and it's May 22nd right now, but the weather is still a little cool and cloudy, but everything is essentially open on the island and there are crowds here, but it's not overrun. We don't feel like we're we're battling against people today which is really nice and when we were walking through the state park we were often by ourselves so very very relaxing day all right we've made it back to town we're going to catch our ferry at six o'clock so we've been here for five hours and we've walked about a little over five miles. So very leisurely pace. I liked our rhythm of with little shopping. We, we walked a bit and then we stopped and sat down and then we walked a bit more. So it was a good day. Thanks for coming along with us. I hope you got some good tips today about how to do Mackinac Island on a budget. And until next week, we hope you have a great week. See you then, bye. We got in and out of Mackinac Island for only 80 bucks today. I think that's pretty admirable. We did a great job. Ha, ha, ha.